But speaking of crazy, going back to this Jesse Waters, mm -hmm. Jesse Waters gets paid millions of dollars to not only spew pop propaganda, but I want to play a clip of just how stupid this guy is. This guy is so stupid. He was on a show called The Patrick Bet David Show, and for some reason, he's famous now, which drives me nuts. But Patrick Bet Davis, David is another one of these podcaster guys, sort of in the vein of Joe Rogan, but dumber. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, he's, he's on this show, and I want you to listen to Jesse Waters if you haven't heard it already. They're talking about <laughs> making 20 dollars an hour and raising the uh the the um minimum wage fifteen dollars an hour and he's going and railing about twenty dollars an hour this is what jesse waters thinks if you get paid twenty dollars an hour this is what he thinks you make wonderful well, governors you're good. very good at math so see if you can do this in your head you probably can if you're making twenty dollars an hour to work at it's funny already <laughs> because he's done this in his head He's like, you could probably do this in your head. So follow with me, <laughs> follow along because I've done it in my head. So you guys can follow along. The fast food restaurant, mm. All right? Is that, is that six figures? Are you making? No, six, no, making, no. 40, 40 grand, 50, 40 grand. 50 years, just two. Six figures, six figures. First of all, dollars an hour, <laughs> $20 an hour at 40 hours a week. He's thinking that that you make six figures and it really comes out to about forty thousand dollars. But he he's gonna insist about this this six figure number in a way, but let's finish up this clown. Exit to and out a few zeros. Yeah. Okay, so forty K a year. Okay, full time. Forty K a year. Yeah. So and now then he knows if your wrong. husband or wife is also there, you're making a hundred thousand dollars as a family. Sure. Okay, that's eighty thousand dollars. What? Oh my God! And Why even not? if it's a family, a hundred thousand is not great. When you just said one person could be making six figures, like what are you talking about, dude? You're an idiot. I, I want to point out again: this guy is on the most watched news <laughs> network, it really it's cable network, and he makes millions of dollars a year. And this is something that it's he has really thought about already. You could tell this is not something that was just yeah. on a whim. He's right. really thought about this and he still got it wrong twice. Both working at McDonald's. 80 yes. grand. Okay, 80 that is, okay. That's crazy. Why? That is crazy because that job really doesn't require much. Says so who? it's inflating the entire, mm -hmm. you know, uh, what? Labor what? sector and, and the happy meal and Maybe. the happy meal unhappy very which, unhappy which I'm very unhappy about but I believe Gavin Newsom will be president one day the man is smooth He's all right and he goes into something about Gavin Newsom but um it, first of all I want to say a couple things one how many times do you go through a drive through or you go to a fast food restaurant and you get angry at somebody because they put fucking pickles on your hamburger and they're like, you're a fucking idiot and you shouldn't be blah, 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 blah. You know, if, if you paid some people with some dignity and second of all, I want to point out that they keep this idea that, well, if they pay people more to work at McDonald's or Burger King, then the prices are going to go up. I would like to point out that the prices have gone up at McDonald's and Burger King for years and right. decades. And guess what has not gone up for years the and decades? Did. It's the pay. Right. So they have plenty of money to pay. And I can tell you why I know this. And Lana knows this too, because during COVID, when they couldn't get anybody to fucking work outside of every McDonald's, Burger King, Wendy's, they were like $15 an hour, $20 an hour. And right. all of a sudden you can pay. Right. Right. Absolutely. Baby Jogganaut, we'll get right to you. And just just a news flash, forty thousand dollars is not a lot of money. No, like, it is nothing. Not for the cost of living. Forty thousand dollars in Mississippi is a lot of money. Yep. But guess what? They're not going to pay you twenty dollars an hour at McDonald's in Mississippi, New York, Massachusetts. Forty thousand dollars is not a, it's not going to get you anywhere because out of that forty thousand dollars, Jesse Waters, you don't get forty thousand dollars. Right. You pay taxes. Right. Your health insurance is going to cut in 
like ten thousand dollars off the rip is Correct. gone in health and dental. So you're not really making forty thousand dollars, and you'll be lucky. You'd be taking home twenty eight, maybe twenty seven thousand yeah. dollars total. Right, so oh, six figures. Like, and how are you living off of that if you're paying rent? That's twenty five hundred dollars a month. Daycare, another what? A, like these people, but they. They make so much money. They're just fucking lazy. Their minds are just lazy to it all because that's just fucking common sense, fucking decency. You just look. And, and here's the thing. The bottom line of what he said is he's saying to everyone, you just don't deserve the money. Right. That's it. He doesn't care about the calculations and how you're paying it. McDonald's doesn't deserve $40,000. You don't deserve that kind of money to him. Not even 40,000. You should be making like 10. Do you know what the irony is of that whole thing? Jesse Waters doesn't deserve the money that he exactly. makes because he's exactly. not smart enough oh to make God. that kind of money. That is oh. outrageous that a guy this fucking stupid and who out of touch like, trying who? to talk about social issues. Who is he? Where is, did he come from? The sky? The you fucking know where he, from? he was on, um, he was like the, uh, when he was on Fox at first, he was during, I think, the Bill O'Reilly show. He was the man on the street guy. He thought he was like the funny guy that went out and interviewed people on the man on the street. He'd go out there and make fun of Chinese people. And of course, on Fox News, that's fucking hilarious when he's in Chinatown in New York making fun of China people and Chinese oh people and goodness. their accents. Um, I think he's one of these guys who was like a, probably a wannabe comedian or he thought he was going to be something big in television. And the only way these losers and that's what they are, can make it is on propaganda TV yeah. where they can get dummies yeah. who will laugh at racist yeah. or, yeah. you know, that's really what it comes down to. Ab absolutely. Uh, Baby Juggernaut had some comments. We don't yeah. want to um, mm -hmm. overlook those. Um, yeah, she said any of us would have been locked up a long time ago. Uh, he was running for president, uh, running from prosecution. There's absolutely no question about that. Uh, the party he adopted... Um, Wait, I'm sorry. The party has adopted the uh, whining. That's all they do. That's There's no fine. question. Um, I heard through the grapevine secret service making security uh, it, uh, arrangements. You guys heard. I don't know what that's about. What is that about, Lana? I didn't hear for jail. That would be nice if they were because oh. there was in there. But I don't. I don't see it happening ever. Like I don't. Yeah, he's like, saying there was ten people at the pro. The quote unquote. Pro <laughs> <laughs> um, and, uh, no drama, Obama, uh, God, we miss them all. There's yeah, absolutely no question uh -huh. about it.